Image Spark this month's cover feature. It arrived in the inbox, a beautiful new Western Star and Patchel Industries 9 axle log combination, and with it was a short message from its East Cape based owners, Tudu and Raywin Manuel. As brief as the note was, it resonated with heartfelt pride and excitement in their new baby. We knew without a doubt there was a story here, we just never knew how big it was and the profound impact it would have on us. As we followed Royal Molko, Manuel Haulage's new Western Star 4884 FXC 8x4 logger, as it loped its way up the North Island's far east coast between Gisborne and Tiki Tiki, we were certainly mesmerised. Not only by its custom paint, which altered and sparkled with the changes in light and reflection, but also the attention to detail. Polished chrome, stainless and alloy, the perfectly plumb old school black Western Star mud flaps right throughout the entire unit, a young business, a new truck. We were expecting Tudor and Raywin Manuel to be sub-30, transitioning out of a fleet driving position into their first new truck and contract. Everything on the line, young people into it, boots and all. Well, in a good way we were wrong. We met Ruomoko's parents on a rainy Monday night for dinner at the Teipuka Tavern right on the foreshore at Tokumaru Bay. For 67 year old Raywin, there's only one way to greet people, and that's with a huge smile and a hug, one that only mothers ever really possess. Hot on her heels was an equally welcoming handshake and pat on the shoulder from her husband, soulmate and lifelong sweetheart, Tudu, himself a sprightly 70 years in the race. We thought you fellas this must have got lost, he laughed. Now sitting down with the couple, bear and feet in hand, we ask the question, why? Isn't that what you do in retirement, laughed Raywin? Buy your first log truck, having never been in trucking before? Jeepers, said Tudu. Sometimes I think, what the heck? But nah, boots and all, I say, boots and all. It all started in 2017 when the pair decided it was time to return home to the quieter life. Smell the roses, go fishing and get off the grid, said Raywin. They decided to give the family batch at Tolaga Bay a spruce up and call it home. That'd be Kapai. Yeah, nah. A couple of months into their new life of leisure, Tudu took a spin up the coast to visit a friend who was ill. Next door lived cousins and local log cartage contractors, Chubb and Agnes Rewi. And on this day, they were putting a new roof on their veranda. And when Tudu left the neighbor's place, Chubb yelled out, Hey Tudu, when are you going to buy a log truck? As Tudu explains to us, I remember the Ruananga Tribal Council discussing the opportunity forestry presented. The land was hard going, and they'd been encouraged to tell the farmers to put it all into trees. This is a future, not just for now, but for our children and mukupuna, grandchildren, they said. It will provide jobs planting and managing the trees, pruning, harvesting, trucking, milling. As a result, there was land going into trees all over the place. It was hard work, but good times. There was a lot of hope that came with the forest. I remember the first Forest Service bus picking my uncles and relations up, and the first trees were planted up close to our family's block, under Mount Hikarangi, just north of Tiki Tiki. And so that's why Chubb yelled out buy a log truck to a 67 year old man three years ago. He knew that even though they'd been away for much of their working life, Tudu and Raywin had a destiny at home they needed to fulfil, set in motion all those years ago by their forebearers. We got home and began laying the groundwork that same day, says Raywin. There were many visits to Chubb and Agnes, and even more phone calls, emails and texts. After all, we were as green as the grass. A clear measure of Chubb and Agnes' integrity and desire to give their old friends every possible chance of success was not just the offer of a contract subbing to their own company, Riwi Haulage Limited, they also lent them their driver, Ray Fiki. Chubb introduced us to Ray at a health and safety meeting in August 2018. Ray was to be our driver on loan, but one month led to eight months and then on to a year. As the rain came down on a cold morning in Tokamaru Bay, Ray and Rolonko rolled north through the village limits and glided to a stop at our scheduled meeting spot opposite the Four Square. Greetings complete and all settled in, Ray slips the road ranger into gear and we're off to get some logs from further up the coast. At the skid site, the SI low deck scales indicated it was time to cease loading, so Ray threw the chains, tightened the ratchets, set the Bigfoot CTI and traction requirements and selected his gear. Rolonko inched away from the landing and down the hall road. The note of the Jacobs reverberating around the valley increased in intensity as the X-15 bore the weight of the load. Down and back over the creek, Ray let the big fella find his way, and then he powered into the foot of the hill. Ray's style lets the truck find its way, and he gives it just what it needs to get the job done. Here's your classic top-notch heavy haul off-highway log truck driver, and his time in the latter fraternity is plainly evident. You can pick it instantly. Running south down the coast loaded, you're looking for stability. Your Almoco's configuration means it's on rails and immovable. We have to say that given the road and the fact that the second steer is right under your seat, the ride was more than palatable. As we wound our way through the extra windy up and down section around Tapuia Springs, the combination's configuration came front of mind. Being able to cart three packets of six months means we can do anything really, says Ray. I'm a patchel man through and through. They know how to build a log truck. Rolmolko is your 4800 series western star that has been well spec for the hard out east coast locking. With his 600 horsepower Cummins, paired with an 18 speed manual 22 series roadie, then it's 
back to a pair of 46160 Rockwells with full box on both, riding on airline. As Ray joined the queue to unload at Eastland Port, it was sadly our lot on this occasion and time for us to head off in different directions. The northern east coast is no place for overcomplication. The customers up here demand ability and endurance from their equipment, and that's normally the result of straightforward equipment being operated by exceptional people. We say exceptional people over drivers because here it goes beyond the immediate skill. There's an understanding of the why and the who, not just the how. It is little wonder then that a Western Star and Patchwell Union finds a home here. Theirs and products of the ilk had their genesis in places and from people just like those of the North Island's northeast corner. Molko, like his East Coast brethren, is far more than just a log truck. They're not just simply carrying a load, but promise. A promise made by wise men and women long ago. Turu and Raywin and so many of today's East Coast contractors are living descendants of that promise. To capture the full story on Tutu and Raywin Manuel, their whanau and their logging truck operation in the Northern East Cape, then grab a copy of the October 2021 New Zealand Trucking Magazine on sale now. Have a fantastic month out there and travel safe. This feature is dedicated to the memory of Jules, much loved team member of Manuel Haulage Limited. <laughs>